Hey guys, Duvessa from S34 and I want to go over the three troop types. I'm going to break it down into three videos so it's not like 20 minutes long, but the first one I want to go over is omnivores. Omnivores are the monkeys. So right here's the different tier omnivores. And to look at all of their stats and whatnot, you click the I, I believe. Yep. And it will tell you their attack, defense, health, power, march speed, their load, and leaf cost. So the health, attack, defense, those are all going to be in. Per or those are all going to be in direct relation with your PvP and their PVE. Your march speed is how fast that unit is going to march, if that is the slowest unit. And then your load is how much each unit can carry. And then your leaf cost is how much each troop is going to cost you from your uh, depot. This is, it'll only take out what's in the depot, it's not going to open what's in your inventory. So right here you can see that this is T1, it's got a small attack and it's got a very high march speed and a high load. And then T2 has the same march speed and the same load. It has a little bit more attack, you know, a little bit more, but like T1s, T2s, those are going to be your ones that you're going to want for gathering. Doesn't matter what you end up specializing in, you want T1, T2, Omnivores. And as you go higher up in tier, let's look at, we'll look at the T9s, the Orangutans. If you look, the march speed is now 14, the load is now 9. And if you remember, I believe it was like, what was their march speed? 18 and 15 you come over here 14 and 9 so that drops a lot some more and the way you're going to up your omnivores like their attack their health um, their resistance to herbivores is you're going to go into the evolution and you're going to do evos here for quicker marches, you're going to want the pack light to be able to hold more for either gathering, raiding, looting, any of that kind of stuff. You're going to want death limbs. You're going to want both of those maxed out. Your speed advantage, I yep, is your omnivore restraint on herbivores. So this is strictly for when you're in PvP versus herbivores. And then. Your size advantage is your defense, dirty arms is attack. Your enhanced beast is so you can mutate or so you can enhance T4 to T9. Speed advantage, same as what it was above. The mutation is so you can mutate T7s to T9s. That means you can mutate T7 and and or T8 to T9. And then you have your wild expert, which is your attack in wild battles, which I believe, not actually sure what that is. I think it's like towards wild creatures and stuff like that. If you're an ants player, it's like the uh, field battle. And then right here is so you can increase health. Right, there's your T9s, and that's how you get your max tier for omnivores. Oh, uh, what else? So, you, I believe right now we only have one alpha that is for omnivores, and that is the American Black Bear. This one is just for omnivores, and that's it. Alright, well that's it. Thanks for watching.